Willie Street Co-op. Quality local food. Strong relationships with farmers and producers. A connection to community and commitment to our owners today and yesterday. 40 years ago, folks who believed in a model of shared ownership set out to provide the best natural and sustainable foods for the community. A lot has changed around Madison since then, and so has our co-op. But our commitment to local, organic, and humane products remains. The co-op opened in 1974 and early 1975 I found it and I had graduated from college and was looking for a way to plug into the community so I started volunteering there. A big part of the success of the co-op was the balance and I was really struck by the way the staff really seemed to have it together you know that you know they had financial procedures they had you know they were gonna make it work. In 1985, I moved to Madison and I started volunteering at the co-op and I was fascinated at the organizational structure and how the business was run and I loved the fact that on a daily basis people would come in and sort of work in the department they were most um, attracted to and over time people then became the managers of those departments. I've seen the co-op grow from almost a million dollars in sales to 40 million dollars in sales. And I think the growth has been managed. It's also been pushed. It's been pushed by needs of our owners and needs in the food market and supply and demand. So I think we grew up as the industry grew up. So we went from about 2,000 square feet to 4,000 square feet. And we met the budget, we met the time frame. I was very proud of the project. And it doubled the sales. Now, in the future, we need to be cautiously optimistic and we need to be respectful to our principles and completely aware of a changing economy and our market niche. I cannot believe it's been 40 years. In 1970, I stumbled into a meeting in Milwaukee organizing something called a food co-op. Well, I had no idea what that was, but I was entranced. I went out to buy local organic produce, so I met farmers who were doing what I'm doing now. Well, I fell in love with their, what they were doing. Young farmers who are now, say, in their 30s and who have been you know, farming for a few years, they've been able to start off um, with a market. You know, they don't have to do all the education. They don't have to explain to people what organic means. There's definitely this new wave of farmers in their 20s and 30s. Organic is really significant. And it provides this level of trust and certifiability that we are following practices that support the soil, support the soil life, support the ecosystem of the farm. We're rotating crops, we're growing a wide diversity of things. Um, we are not spraying a lot of toxic pesticides or applying synthetic fertilizers to our soil, all of which have various negative effects on life. Willie Street plays a major role in allowing us to make a living from farming full time. When you're eating fruits and vegetables, you want the highest number of nutrients in them. And so getting the freshest, um, highest quality produce that you can get is really important, um, both for the taste and the nutritional value. I think it makes you feel good when you shop at a store like Willie Street um, because they have such a strong commitment to the growers, to the farmers that are working so hard to grow this food, and to supporting the local economy by bringing in locally grown produce whenever possible. As a vendor, Willie Street provides this outlet of our goods that we grow and other local farmers around. It's a great place to find all these small businesses that are growing food and there's a nice community here where it supports people that like good food, that are trying to buy good food. Here, we know our vendors. We know, even if they're in California, we know which farm in California 
and we make a point of researching everything we can about the food that comes into this store. The legacy of Willie Street Co-op is awesome because people recognize the name and people ask about our product from around town, even outside of town. The biggest opportunity I see with Willie Street Co-op is how involved they are in the community, the, how deeply rooted they are, and uh, how the brand really is its a household name. When you drive around this town, you see the Willie Street Co-op bumper sticker. It's amazing. It's not always been easy to support that growth. Figuring out how, to, how do you not only bring the staff along, but the owners along and the vendors along. The Willie Street Co-op board is very invested with the stakeholders of Willie Street, who are uh, the suppliers, who are the, uh, the farmers, and the customers as well. We do have very different perspectives. We work really well together. We have a lot of discussion. We have a lot of meetings, but you know it's all for the same purpose. It's all during the same goal, and we don't. We all share this sort of like love for the co-op business model. The cooperative is responsive to the needs of the people who own it. Willie Street is a great example of democratic processes. If this co-op is going to make a major investment, they need to go directly to the membership for a vote. So they need to prove their case, they need to be transparent about financials and what the decision-making process has been, and the members can vote that recommendation up or down. Members feel that they have a, not just a stake in a neighborhood grocery store, which is wonderful, which you can walk to or bike to or drive to easily, but a stake in the decision-making. The co-op's ownership more than 31,000 strong is thriving. And so is the co-op's continued commitment to supporting our community. We operate with a very small budget um, as a community center. We had an event, and it was a small event, but we had no food and no money. So we thought, hey, I'll reach out to Willie Street Co-op. And now two years later, they've given us over $6,000 um, and food for two of our large-scale events, one of which we had 300 people attend last year. They also provide things for our food pantry, and they're just a great support to us overall. This is uh, most popular bread that I'm using to make for Willie Street. It's uh, going on uh, close to 40 years that I'm selling bread at Willie Street. There was something about working with yeast. You see, that's alive. We bought our ingredients, the flour and the wheat. Oh yeah, it was important that it be organic. Well, we were busy in the beginning. We were baking five days a week. I think the maximum we made uh, in a week was a thousand loaves. I've always loved Willie Street. The people that work there, you know, coming to the co-op was something I always looked forward to. To this day, I still shop once a week at Willie Street. <laughs> I moved to the Near East Side um, by the co-op over there. I actually go there like three times a day. I just go there and I get breakfast every morning and sometimes I go there for lunch and, and then on my way home or to the coffee shop. They have all the food options in the hot bar. And I see people talking to each other. Every time I come in, people are stopped and, and talking. People are hugging. You can tell people care about each other. I catch snippets of, you know, we did this or we did that, that, you know, where it sounds like people are really caring about the choices they make. The Willie Street Co-op provides a sense of community for me. Our owners, young and old, from the beginning to today, they are the reason Willie Street Co-op will continue to be a cornerstone in the Madison community for many years to come.